Alright guys, so in the last video, what I did is I showed you guys this cool function, split, that pretty much takes an image, like this, and it breaks it up into three individual channels. So now the next function I want to show you is something called merge. It's basically a function that takes three individual channels and combines them back into an image. So let me just name this something like new image and set this equal to image dot merge. Now as you can see right here, channels are just called bands, but um, most people just call them channels. It's only um, pillow that calls it band, so that's why these parameters are saying this. The mode is the first parameter, and of course, hold on, let me adjust my microphone. We already saw that this was a RGB. It wasn't like a black and white or anything. So the first thing I want to do is say, okay, I want to make a new image and I want it to be RGB. It's going to be composed of three colors. So the only other parameter this takes is, okay, we said we're making a new image with three channels. So give me those three channels. Well, we can just type in R, G, B like this. And now when we hit like new image dot show, what's going to happen? Let me tighten that up a bit. Tighten this up a bit, that's what she said. And run this and check it out. So this is a new file because essentially what we did is we took this image, we broke it up into three channels, and then we took those exact channels and combined them again to form a new image probably the most worthless program that you have ever seen in your life because it literally did a bunch of work for nothing at all. So why did I show you guys all of this? Well, the cool thing starts happening when you take those channels and combining them in different orders. So this is going to take the red channel first, then green, then blue by default. But what happens if we put something like um, BGR? Check this out. Whenever I run this, oh, that's kind of neat. Get this kind of um, blue, kind of weird looking image. We kind of look like Avatar or something. So that's another cool thing that you can do. If you change the order of these channels, you get some pretty cool effects. And I'll show you guys another really cool effect that you guys are probably going to love. All right, so let me get rid of all this. And actually, I'll show you guys how to take this is actually going to be really easy even though it's going to sound, sound kind of hard. What you can do is you can actually take two different images like this one right here and I think this one is the same size. So what you can do is you can break up both of these images into individual channels and then you can combine different channels from different images together. Sounds kind of confusing but check this out. So we already got our sister object. We just need one for Bucky now. Bucky.jpg is named Bucky object. All right. So for the sister channels, just so I keep everything nice orderly, I'll give those red one, green one, and blue one. And since I'm too lazy to type everything out, for the Bucky channels, whenever we break those up, I'm going to name those R2, green two, and blue two. Blue two. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So now we got six channels, the three from sister and the three from Bucky. So now let's go ahead and merge those together in a really cool way. So I'm just going to name my new image that I'm going to create new image. And then I'm going to set that equal to image. And remember it was merge. Now we're still using RGB. We're pretty much saying we're going to create a new image and we're going to give you three channels, a red, a green, and a blue. So let's go ahead and if we just gave it all of these, for example, it's just going to create the sister image again. We already saw that. But what I want to do is I actually want to take the red channel from Bucky and combine it with the green channel from sister and I'll combine it with a blue channel from Bucky. So now we're kind of merging um, two different images together. So now if we do something like new image dot show, Check this out. Pretty sweet. So it kind of gives that, um, I don't know, kind of like a weird ghosting effect where you take one image and you pretty much combine the channels with another image. Now what you might like to do is 
and this is how programs like Instagram and um, if you ever took a photo and you like want to give it the worn out effect then what you can do is you can just create an image just with like speckles on it or maybe creases and you can overlay it with one of your images on your computer to give it a worn out effect or you could actually do something like this I know this isn't like a Photoshop tutorial but you can pretty much create an image like this and actually I want radial so if you created an image like this then what it would do is it would overlay it with kind of fading out and again if you ever go on Instagram or um, a, a lot of programs do this actually where the middle of the photo is clear and then it kind of gives you guys like a gradient border then that's what we can start to do again it's a lot more complex than this but at least you guys can see the beginnings of you know the potential of what we can do so again a couple things that I, I want to recap is anytime you want to take a photo and split it up into individual channels you split anytime you want to take individual channels and combine them to form a new image use merge and this is how you can take two different images and use different channels from various images to combine them to form something pretty cool so there you go thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time